Yeah, hey, good to be here. I, uh, I Ubered here. That was, I had a real chatty driver. Oh, don't you hate that? Would it be nice if there was a small talk option on the app, you know? <laughs> but there isn't, so you gotta really find your own way to quiet the guy. I like to scare him, you know? He's like, hey, how about this traffic? What do you think's causing this? I'm like, probably the Jews. He's like, <laughs> all right. Nice quiet ride, yeah. <laughs> I'm staying in uh, West Hollywood, very gay area, which I like. Big fan of the gays. Oh, hey, all right. Thanks for coming out. Um, yeah. Big fan. Uh, I feel like gay guys are just a little better than us. You know, they're progressive, nonviolent. You never meet any violent gay guys. There's no gay gangs. That would just be a musical. <laughs> yeah. I have uh, the worst gaydar on the planet. I can't tell who's gay. You know? My friend's always bragging about his gaydar. We'll go out, he's like, he's gay, he's gay, he's gay. I'm like, well, that's not that impressive. I mean, we're at a gay bar. Uh, I don't know. You want to impress me with your gaydar? Start pointing out gay babies. Now that's impressive. Like, see that kid breastfeeding over there? Between you and me, he's miserable. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gay, seeing a lady. My girlfriend, she's obsessed with murder shows, like Dateline, Forensic Files. And she caught me watching like two seconds of gay porn. She flipped out. She was like, what the hell is this? I was like, well, you watch murder. <laughs> Isn't that way worse? <laughs> These are just two people having sex. Your thing's the first commandment. This isn't even on the list. <laughs> she was like, well, do you want to do this? I was like, well, do you want to kill me? <laughs> She was like, oh, shut up. I'm just watching this so I know what to do if I ever get in that situation. I'm like, well, maybe that's why I'm watching gay porn. <laughs> yeah. 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 She's like, oh, that's ridiculous. This is a reenactment. Well, so is this. This guy's not really a real estate broker. <laughs> but hey, you guys are a fun crowd. You know, a lot of crowds now are very sensitive. Everybody's so offended these days. Words. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I always get jealous when people get offended. They go, hey, that joke offended me. I'm like, wow, I wish I cared about anything as much as you cared about that joke. <laughs> What's it like to feel? <laughs> the only feeling I really get is loneliness. I'll feel very lonely as a guy who doesn't get offended. Offended people like get together, they make signs, they protest. Unoffended, we don't get together. Never see a bunch of unoffended people outside of a university like, uh. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, look where it's gotten us. The whole country feels angry. We're all pent up. We got White supremacists, protests all the time, hate groups. Now, you're allowed to be hateful in America as long as you're not specific. You know, if you go, I hate Jewish people, everybody goes, oh my God, what a bigot, prejudice. But if you go, I hate people, everybody goes, <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh yeah, people are angry, man. I had one of those uh, White Lives Matter rallies go by my house the other day. I freaked out, then I realized, ah, oh, it's just a half marathon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Women are going through a lot right now. Women are having a real moment, you know? Uh, men are nervous these days. Men are scared of looking like creeps. Have you noticed now when a woman posts a picture on Facebook, it's mostly women commenting? Like, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're sexy. A guy will be like, cool hat. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, you gotta listen to the ladies, fellas. You gotta listen. Like a friend of mine, she's like a big feminist. She's like, ah, I have a full bush because that's how I was born. I was like, holy hell, you were born with a full bush? <laughs> wow, that is a terrifying baby. <laughs> Cut the umbilical cord. I can't find it. <laughs> also, that baby's gay. <laughs> yeah, some guys just like whipping it out. That's wild. Yeah, I think guys get confused, because ladies, sometimes you like a penis. So I think guys think, hey, she liked one last night. Why wouldn't she like one by the copy machine? Women are so complex. Because <laughs> I think, generally speaking, men are a little more constant. You know, like men like boobs, but we like boobs across the board. You know, boob in the bedroom, great. Boob on the bus, also great. <laughs> penis in the bedroom, great. Penis on the bus, call the police. <laughs> Nobody's calling the police on a boob. If you see a boob out in the wild, it's like seeing a deer. You're like, shh. <laughs> it's majestic. <laughs> then your fr friend walks up. Hey, look at that, a boob. You're like, ah, you spooked it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm Kevin Hart. Hey.